So your machine will look different than mine, but it's basically the same principle. Okay, so mine, the bobbin goes here underneath, whereas yours will be there. All you need to do is to make sure that the thread is on the left side and then you pop it in. Put it in the machine. So for mine, at least you know, I need to get this thing. Oops. And I can show you already with mine. So I need to place it in the bobbin case, click, hold it here, and then click. Wait. It's supposed to make a sound. Oops. I guess we can skip this. Okay, did you hear that? I hope the camera catched that. And I'm gonna place it here and snap. Okay, that should be done. Okay, that's how it looks like. And then I'm going to thread my machine following the ones on top. So normally people put the thread here. I put it on the floor standing up. By the way, this is how my thread looks like. I prefer it this way because it's cheaper and it's more and I don't know. I like it at the floor. So I put it on the floor and then run it from behind the machine. Oops. Okay, I'm, and I'm going to start from the beginning. Normally, there should be a one, number one or something on your machine. So you just follow that line going down. Okay, so your machine should be more or less like this. Two. Oops, go up. And then, okay. So see here, there should be a metal part here. If this doesn't show up, you got to turn to the knob here and then turn towards yourself so it means this way so i will turn and as i do that okay once i do that the metal thing will show off and i should be able to put it here okay so it will be hooked in that area okay and then i will go down to number five and you see this tiny bar here Okay, using two um, hands, I should be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with my two hands, I can click here. You see, that would be behind. And then sometimes I cut this a little bit here, like a little bit on an angle. So that it's a little bit sharp. And to put the thread, oops, on the needle, I think you know where it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will, so, so I usually place my finger behind the needle so that when I click, oops, this one takes some practice to do. Ah, okay, by the way, I know yours is different um for those with automatic so this is how i do it okay yeah okay make sure it doesn't do that so this is not a good idea because this one is twisted so that's problematic for those with an automatic oh my god i really need that machine new machine um mm -hmm. second okay so that's how it should look like and to begin by the way um okay continuing with this machine i will hold this one and lower so i can catch see the thread here but for your machine you don't need to do that for those with the 
other type of bobbin you just need to make sure they are together the two threads okay Okay, so from the back, you can lift the pedal foot and you can, so it's here, let me show you. Okay, at the back, there should be this where you can lift the machine up and down, okay? So that's the type. Okay, so for my machine, I have uh, the stitch length and this one is the tension dial, okay? 